In this video, I want to present to you the Nerd Heart Discord server, which is a community of passionate Pokemon fans with a strict stance against cheating. So if you've been looking for a Discord server to play Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in, get some new friends, hang out in union circles, and do some voice chat, text chat, whatever, then this may be the place for you. And so the thing that distinguishes the Nerd Heart community from other communities is that we are very much focused around playing the games properly. We're not interested in other things, funny business. Uh, you can read more about it in the different information channels that we have. I'll go through some of those in this video. But for the most part, if you're looking for version exclusives or trade evolutions or to trade Pokemon, uh, find people to battle with, learn competitive play, then essentially Nerdheart is the place for all that. And so I'm just gonna hop into the screen share here of the Nerdheart Discord server. And so the overall Discord server here is very well organized. Um, that is something that I've gotten a lot of good feedback on and perhaps I can bring out my handy hand here. Let's see here, one moment, here we go. And so essentially Discord is a place where you can interact in various structured conversations. So for example, we have a chat here called general, which is just general conversation. You can see here it says daily conversations about Pokemon and life. And then we have a news channel. Let's see if I can do some uh, multitasking here. And so here it is, a stream of news. And then what's special about the Nerdheart Discord server is that there are a lot of opt-in notifications that you can give yourself. And so I have recently, for example, you can see here Scarlet and Violet is marked here for the Terra Raid battles. And so there are a lot of different roles that you can give yourself here, which is a ticket to receive notifications. Likewise, if you don't give yourself any of these roles, which are self-assigned, you won't get many notifications here. That is a common problem with a lot of discords where you're just like have a hundred pings and it's not fun and it's just a bunch of notifications that are empty. But here you can actually uh, add the different roles that you would be interested in. For example, you'll be notified in news whenever there are giveaways. Click the confetti emoji to turn on notifications and click again to turn off. And so you can see here that it is highlighted. It says 29 and then if I take it off, it's 28. And so if we look at my very many roles here, um, we don't see the giveaway. But if we click on the confetti here, and yes, it pops up here. And likewise, we have roles for news related to the YouTube channel and live streams, um, news related to the Discord server itself. And then we have some more legacy roles for other games if you're interested. I'll get back to that uh, a little later in the video. You can give some feedback here if you want. We have a Minecraft server. We also play Pokemon Unite from time to time. More importantly, you'll see these four roles right here. We have, let's see, I don't know if you can see the, yeah, you can't see much when I, let's use the hand. You can see here that we have a role here for 6v6 singles. This is a role that you can tag here in battle to find other people to play with. And so you just tag 6v6 singles, they get a notification, and when you don't want to get a notification again, you can just, just click on the Pokeball and it's turned off. Same here for 4v4 doubles. If you need some trade help, you can tag the trade help role in trade. And then here we have VGC. This is a, a this is a special role here. You need to apply to become an academy member. It is free, but certain members are chosen here uh, depending on a set criteria. Uh, and then yes, you can see some more roles here that are just legacy roles if you wanna play some competitive in prior games. Uh, the Overall goal here of Nerdheart is to support every single Pokemon game that still has internet connection. And we also host a yearly tournament uh, called the Spring Tournament. Uh, there is a cash price for that and it's most likely going to be in Scarlet and Violet this time around. Um, this year in 2022, we had Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. That was a lot of fun. And then um, there could be more tournaments in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl in the future, but most likely it's going to be in Scarlet and Violet. And then also we have the Terra Raid Battles role. And so you can tag this role yet again in the raid chat to make sure that other people are notified when 
uh, you want to have raids. Some other categories that are interesting, um, now we had a look at Scarlet, let's see, I can use the hand again. All of these big ones that have an emoji here are categories, and within them are several chats. And so for example, if we go into the other games category, we can see that we have a dedicated chat for Diamond and Pearl, or Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Sword and Shield, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun and Moon, X, Y, and Oras. And then there is one for Legends Arceus, but not very much used. And then we have one for Minecraft. Um, as we saw up here in the chat, let's say um, you want to have battles in Sword and Shield, then you would consider turning this on. Um, I recommend that people who tag the roles should also have the role, uh, but there is no like connection there. So let's say you want to have some battles in Galar um, in Sword and Shield, then you would go over to Sword and Shield, and then write the at symbol. Lar champions, I want to battle. Uh, let's do 6 v 6 singles. And then you would post this message. I'm not going to do it because someone will get notified. Uh, likewise, if we go into trade here, we can do trade help. The trade help role is just for Scarlet and Violet. Um, I need help. Uh, man, I can't type. With... A trade evolution. Um, anyone available? Something like that. I'm not going to post it because someone will get a notification. Uh, so I don't want that, but just to illustrate how to do it. Another category that could be interesting here is the voice category. Uh, these are voice chats that are planned to be used quite frequently. I have put it in my calendar to have a party or after party or whatever. Uh, non-alcoholic after the live streams on YouTube so that let's say we have a live stream for two hours on YouTube then there's probably an hour and a half of more fun here in the voice chats um, and the limits of how many people can join here will be adjusted over time depending on how well things go but for the most part I think that the general voice chat should be available for anyone uh, depending on how pe many people are in there already and the Academy one is special for Academy members. You can find more information about that in the bulletin board. Um, let's see here. I don't remember exactly where I hid that because that's a little secret. Let's see here. It's probably in resources. Um, yes, here you go. It's hidden in resources. I won't mention this too many times, but it is for people who are very goal oriented and becoming one of the best Pokemon players of all. And so if that's interesting to you, then essentially the overall goal with the Academy is to support members in Nerthheart so that we can have some legitimate players rank in official battles. Um, I can also mention here with the resources chat, um, it is moderated by me, um, Nerth, and Dr. Fail, which is the moderator here in Nerthheart next to me. There is potentially some more mod or there are some more moderators on the way. Potentially we'll see depending on what need there is. Um, I can also go over that a little bit because I think it will help explain the entry fee that the Discord server has. It starts at a one-time $2 purchase. You can have a look at the readme chat to just go over that because some people are a little confused as to why and how. But essentially here you can see that Nerthheart is a Pokemon Center community with a strong stance against cheating. Nerthheart members are actively helping one another with trade evolutions in various Pokemon games, sharing our progress from breeding, and helping each other get better at Pokemon battling. Access to the Nerthheart Discord server starts at a one-time $2 purchase by becoming a YouTube member. You keep your access to Nerthheart even if the monthly YouTube membership is ended, so long you follow the rules. And yes, yeah, so you become a YouTube member and then you gain access to Nerthheart. And then I can show you here, you will be given the uh, Nerthheart role. So even though you are a YouTube member and have the Nerthheart role, if the YouTube member role disappears, it is the Nerthheart role that gives you access to all the chats. And so it starts at a $2 purchase and essentially the money here goes towards running the Discord server as well as 
uh, supporting the content created on YouTube. So the free live streams, how-to videos, uh, Nerth explains Pokemon and everything. And so if that is interesting to you, then um, you can consider becoming a YouTube member and joining here. Now, there are some other things that goes into supporting the Nerf Hard Discord server. Uh, one is the price pool for the spring tournament. Um, last year, or this year rather, it was $170. A lot of you guys were incredibly generous, and so that went very well. Like, it was pretty much financed by the community, which, which was really impressive. And so it's not impossible that the price pool for next year's spring tournament will be a little bit higher. Because overall, I want to chip in some too, and, and you guys were very generous. And then also, we can head over to the bulletin board here. And then have a look at the application. And so, in my Discord server, I actually uh, compensate my moderators. It's not to the point where it's like a job or anything, but it's more like a side project that some people are chosen to. And you'll find more information here. Um, as for what the details of that is. But as said earlier, um, some of this money that goes towards the access to the server is fueled back into operating uh, and making it a great experience. So far, I haven't had a single complaint about the server. Uh, there have been some ideas and feedback to make it better, and that is always welcome. You can either put those in general, you can tag me anytime. I really don't mind pinks at all. Actually, if you are talking directly to me, I, I prefer that you tag me. And so in this video, we've now gone over the news, general, what roles, resources, and then we also have the help channel. Um, if you have any questions about the server or uh, Pokemon, then you can always put those here. Um, moderators are always looking to help and most other members in the server too are quite generous and helpful. We've also gone through the Scarlet and Violet category of chats and how you can use the, well, the Scarlet and Violet chat here is just for chatting about the games, game mechanics and so on, but we have a dedicated chat for trading, raiding and battling. And so it's gonna be a lot of fun. And then as we, mentioned earlier, we also have a chat here active for every single game that is still connected to the internet. And so whenever the 3DS is let go, then these will disappear, uh, but that is what it is. And then yeah, we mentioned briefly the academy member is, or the academy category rather, is a place for serious players. Um, and one of the reasons why I created this category to begin with is to Make sure that people don't feel left out. Um, it, it, that's kind of um, a weird way to put it, but essentially one of the things that I have noticed over the years with running this Discord server is that um, there tend to be a bit of a difference between people who have played competitive for many years and people who have just started. And I want the server to be welcoming for both um, and a bit of a distinction between um, where the more serious stat discussions and everything like that is had uh, it seems to be productive for the overall server because when things get too complicated um, some people tend to feel left out and so essentially that is the, the idea here and there is also a bit more strict um, uh, what would you say you can just look at the form essentially and you get a more, um, a better idea of what this is all about. Um, and so we have the bulletin board. We went through that there are some things here. Um, and then we have the readme category. We have the rules. These are already available for you even if you're not a YouTube member. So you can check the link in the video description for the North Heart Discord server and you can read the rules here. Uh, these should be available for everyone. And so they are fairly descriptive and detailed. They are not comprehensive, even though there's a lot of text here, but overall, I think it should give a very clear idea of what the North Hard Discord server is all about. And so if this sounds interesting to you, I hope you will consider joining us and to play Pokemon Scarlet and Violet um, with a great community and enjoy the experience. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.